Hi, I'm Christine from Christine's Home Affairs and I thought I'd take the time out in this video for you to get to know me a little bit. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, about the things that I like to do um, and what you'll expect to see in the content from this video, these videos that you see on my channel. So in this particular room you're going to see lots of baking and cooking and lots of yummy things. At least I think they're yummy. Chris thinks they're yummy because he's got to eat them. So in here you'll get food. Now I did forget to mention that the type of food that I'll be cooking in the kitchen here is all going to be low carb or keto. So Chris and I have been following a keto, mostly ketogenic lifestyle for nearly four years now and so we um, don't eat any well we try not to eat pro much processed food grains and things like that we don't eat pasta flour rice most breads though we have found a low carb bread uh, but we try to make our own foods here uh, so everything will be sugar free grain free flour free and healthy at least by our standards anyway so I hope you enjoy the foods that I present to you in, this videos, in these videos. Whilst in this room, my little girl cave, you'll see me doing lots of upcycling projects. I'll be doing dressmaking alterations, some sewing hacks, um, some design work, things like that. I like fabric. Uh, I upcycle fabric. I rescue a lot of fabric, especially upholstery fabric. So you'll see me doing lots of um, little different things with upholstery fabric or anything else that I can think of. So in here I'll be doing mostly sewing videos. Um, some quilting as well. I've been doing quilting for many, many years and dressmaking. Um, but at the moment I'm really enjoying repurposing fabric and anything else that I can think of. So yeah, sewing videos in this room. Don't tell Chris I've come out to the man cave. In this room, I'm going to sneak out sometimes and do a few little upcycling projects of my own. So Chris knows nothing about what I plan on doing. Uh, but I've got a few things in mind, one of which is this upcoming project, but that'll be in another video. So I've got to come out here and use some of the manly tools. Um, and outside in the garden, we'll go to next and I'll show you some of the things that we're doing out there. And in my garden shed, you'll see lots of other little goodies that I'm going to repurpose. Um, this is a little competition between Chris and myself. Well, I, I think I know what I'm going to do with that, but I don't know what Chris is going to do with his triangles. Anyway, I've got some ideas for this one. This will be some videos coming up in the next few weeks. I thought I'd take the time to show off the garden. This is our veggie garden. So all of this is made from recycled pallets that Chris and I have built. And Chris has built the berry house, so we like doing our upcycling and repurposing wherever we can, not liking to spend um, money to buy full priced items. So everything that you see in the garden is repurposed, mostly free, mo even most of the plants. So there'll be lots of things happening out here that I'll show you how to get the most out of your, your money or, um, or whatever products you can repurpose. So together with Chris and I, we like to upcycle or repurpose as much as we can. I love going into his backyard where he keeps all sorts of little treasures and things like that. So occasionally I'll go out rummaging through his um, trolleys and baskets and pick out kettles and pots and pans and things like that that I can use for the garden or wherever else I might be able to use them. Now I might just mention that uh, Chris and I both run our own businesses. So in our town of Nagambi in Victoria, Australia, we have two little shops right beside each other. And Chris is more of an antique second-hand dealer. He does e-waste collections and upcycling of all sorts of things. He doesn't throw anything out. So when I go rummaging around in his backyard, it's going sifting through scrap and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, in my shop, I am a second-hand dealer. I used to be a fabric shop um, selling materials and quilting products and things like that. And I've closed that side of my business, but still sew in there every day. I take in alterations and sew for other people. And I repurpose lots and lots of sewing projects or pieces of fabric into things that I can sell. So uh, I have a second-hand shop. Um, I 
if something doesn't work in my shop and it doesn't sell or I can use, utilize it for something else, then I'll bring it back here uh, and try and turn it into something else, maybe with the help of things that Chris has in his back room or in his sheds. Uh, yeah, so uh, between our two businesses and all of our other projects, we keep each other, keep ourselves pretty, pretty, pretty busy. On this particular channel, I'm going to stick with my cooking, my sewing and upcycling projects of all sorts and things I do out in the garden or maybe something that I just do in the house. I'm not really sure, but it'll be all my home affairs. No butchers, bakers, candlestick makers are going to be harmed in any of these videos. The other thing that we do is play table tennis competitively, some more competitively than others. And we also do a lot of rock and roll. We love our rock and roll. So we've been teaching that in our town of Nagambi for about three or four years now. And we've decided to start our YouTube channel for that as well. So we're keeping our rock and roll lessons separate from Christine's home and affair, home affairs and what Chris does on his ultimate recycler channel. So the other channel, if you want to learn how to do rock and roll up on this corner, if you want to check out Chris's ultimate recycle, you go to this corner. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more of what Christine does in her home affairs, subscribe and you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I make in the future. Bye for now.